So, you've been through all the pages of the Minna no Nihongo textbook and poured all your blood, sweat, and tears into learning every single hiragana, katakana, and delusion yourself into knowing all the kanji there is to know. And yet, you're still here, watching this video, because every single time somebody asks you to speak in Japanese, Ah, so da, Shien-san, Nihongo dekimasu yane. Hai, watashi wa, watashi wa, watashi wa desu. Nothing comes out. Eh, ah, tsugoi jozu. <laughs> well, don't worry, Sayang, because this video is perfect for you to learn how to actually speak Japanese. Here's the challenge of today. Count how many times I say Japanese throughout the video and reply that in the comments down below. Yeah, let's get started. Ichi! Watch with subtitles. I know what you're thinking. Shien, the only reason I am learning Japanese is to get the ultimate flex of watching anime without subtitles. And you're telling me to watch it with subtitles? Nani? Well, Sayang, let's say that you turn off the subtitles. What is the first thing that you are going to do? Assuming that you don't immediately turn back on the subtitles, you will be googling every single vocab that you don't know. And that is going to pull away the focus from what actually matters. Listening. Before you can actually speak Japanese, a wise man once said, or a woman, that you must first learn how to listen to Japanese. I think this is a perfect example where you have some of you or perhaps your friends that can actually speak Japanese by just watching anime. Well, we're gonna take it to the next level if you're going to be the ultimate Japanese master. So don't stop there. Dump all the Japanese audio and media that you can find into your brain and focus on all the subtle intonations, pauses in between the words and the sentences, as well as the flow of the overall speech when they speak. The devil is in the details, and by doing that, you are able to learn and mimic how natural native Japanese sounds like, and that will help you to achieve your goal of ultimately watching anime without subtitles. Ni, parroting. As I like to call it, to give credit to our fellow bird brains. And this is my personal favorite tip, and I found most effective when learning how to actually speak Japanese. So this is a tip that I've gotten from my online Korean friend who was insanely good at speaking Japanese to the point where all the natives thought that he was one of them. And no, they weren't just being polite. So pick one of your favorite Japanese drama, movies, or even better, it can be your favorite voice actor or just a normal actor and mimic every single line they say. Shin, I ain't no parrot. Nor do I have the ability to shadow at the speed of light. Well, I hear you. There are so many other alternatives by watching some online YouTube videos or some podcasters that have a slower pace of Japanese and are easy to follow. My personal favorite is Akane Teki no Nihongo Kyoshitsu. She's a great YouTuber as well as podcaster that provides great content for me to follow and mimic every single sentence she says, even when I don't understand some of the vocabularies. That actually really helps to break down the wall of feeling unnatural when speaking in Japanese. And that ultimately brings up the confidence that you will have when you actually open your mouth and speak the actual language. But be careful of what genre you're mimicking, for example, anime and who you're mimicking. For example, for men and women, they tend to have different way of speaking, meaning where men can be a bit more rough and women on the more feminine side and sometimes they even use different terms. But you know, ultimately, who cares? Sayang, you do you. If you want to mimic a Yakuza character, go ahead. Just don't say that she and told you that when you're in Japan. San, eat your vegetables up. Janakte, vocabularies. I know, I know. Do I really have to memorize all the vocabs, Shin? I wish to answer no, but unfortunately the answer is yes. You must know at least some basic vocabs to be able to speak Japanese. But since I sayang you all so much, don't worry, I got you. One of the best ways to put it into practice instead of just reading the PDF on a day to day basis is by playing a game. You can play the game called Shiritori, which is a Japanese version of the word relay game, with your friends. 
and that will actually help to practice and apply the vocabs that you've learned. So, what if you don't have friends like me? It actually still works. I play Shiri Tori by myself all the time. But if you prefer to still have friends to play and not be like me, well, there's a great app called Hello Talk. There's a great opportunity for you to connect with friends who are passionate to learn Japanese like you, or perhaps even native speakers themselves, to learn and apply more new vocabularies. And the best thing of all for us Asians is that it is completely free. I have also linked a free PDF down below for you so that for those of you who don't know where to get started, you can learn some of the vocabs from there. And all the payment that I'm asking for is some sayang from you all. Yon, parting with particles. For those of you who have started on the journey of learning Japanese, before you have even climbed on the stairs to kanji, your path has already been blocked with particles. Particles are used in Japanese grammar to connect the Japanese sentences. There's a variety of them with different usage, and before you know it, you'll be struggling on which one to put in between every single subject, object, and verb. Well, the truth is, they don't really matter that much in conversational Japanese. Even without all the particles, people can still understand what you're saying. So don't pressure yourself into getting 100% grammatically correct, but just focus on getting yourself out there first and enjoy the process. That's what matters. Lastly, go, I'm Japanese this. This is actually a tip that I don't have to tell you. You know it deep down inside your heart. And no, I don't mean being an actual Japanese. I mean putting it into practice. What if you don't have anyone that you can speak Japanese to? Hey, I live in Malaysia, I don't live in Japan, and I have literally zero real life Japanese friends. So how does that work? Well, to start off, start thinking in Japanese, beginning with your reactions. This tendency of thinking that, oh, Japanese is a foreign language, this will strip that away and will help you to start transitioning into the mindset of an actual Nihonjin. I personally speak to myself in Japanese a lot, even when I'm cooking or when I'm free and creeped out my sister a few times, but hey, that's the goal. But if you don't want to speak to yourself in Japanese and want to make more friends, I'm actually planning to launch a Discord server for us to connect with your sayangs and practice Japanese together. So watch out for that. Hi! Thank you very much for watching my first video and like and subscribe if you <laughs> actually enjoyed the content. Can't believe I say that. And if you find anything lagging, I'm so sorry, do let me know and I'll make sure to come back with a better video on next week. Ja, mata ne! I think I'm done! Ni, ni, ni.